We're heading out. We're heading out. Oh, say bye, Michael. Da, 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 da. Uh -huh. Bye. 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 Uh, bye. I gotta go run. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> oh, it's always hard to leave him. <laughs> he's he's screaming. Oh, New Balance beacons. Oh, they feel so good right now. There he is. Come, come bye, bye. I can't stop. I can't stop. I followed you on Strava last night. Oh, new follower on Strava. Nice. See you tonight. All right. <laughs> oh, the favorite local mailman. Gonna see him at a party later tonight. That was awesome. Let's connect on Strava. Everyone's joining. Everyone's joining. Even the mailman. There we go, two miles. I'm about uh, three quarters of a mile from my house. Stopping, not gonna go three, cause I wanna, again, stay under 20 miles this week. Uh, just easing back into it. So I wanna, I would love to go run three miles, but uh, just trying to keep it under 20 this week. And yes, I am sore from squats yesterday in the gym, which is good. I was my first set of squats for 2019, nice and lightweight. I think it was probably about 90 pounds, but I am sore. And so just gotta take it easy, nice and patient, nice and patient coming back. All right, <laughs> time to walk home. Ooh. I'll talk to you about the beacons back at the house. It's warming up in Denver. I overdressed again today. Got this jacket on, the Solomon. I should have just gone t-shirt. Frankly, should have gone just bareback. I mean, it is just ridiculous what's going on here. I know I say that every day, but... Uh... No, I am not going on a second run today, but I am gonna put the fast twitch shoes on my feet for the first time. Remember they arrived from a vlog fan about a week ago, and I still haven't had a chance just to put them on my feet. I just wanna make sure that they size up right, and then I'll take them for a spin once the snow is completely gone, which is happening rapidly as you saw. So let's put the Saucony fast twitch on the feet for the first time. And what I'm gonna try to remember to do moving forward is to film my face as I put the shoe on, all new shoes, so that I you just really genuinely get my gut reaction. And I know it's not I'm not going for a jog today, but just how they feel on the feet. You know, the, every shoe has a different feel through the inner liner of the shoes, through the upper especially, and then I'll stand up uh, and just see how the midsoles feel to a certain extent, knowing that uh, I'm not gonna be running. So, come on, I'm gonna, let's get this going here. All right, you ready? Here we go, all right. You got my expression going here. Ooh, nice. Very nice, okay. Just trying to adjust the tongue of the shoe. The tongue of the shoe is critical. Oh yeah, they're fast. They are gonna, very lightweight. Okay, that's it. All right, that was my gut reaction to how they feel on the feet for the first time. And it's a perfect fit, definitely. Got that basically a thumb width in the toe box. Feeling good there, so the, 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 the sizing is perfect. Fast twitch, Saucony on the feet for the first time. All right, time to get that shed organized for the next live stream. To the suppressive 20th century's greatest theorist of cultural hegemony, it is not a very effective conspiracy. The Beacon Bop, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, ran in this shoe today, the New Balance Beacon, and I, there's a reason I chose this as my running shoe of 2018. I love this thing. I love this thing. I haven't run in it in about three weeks, and it's my easy day shoe. Oh, I could go on and on about this shoe. It just feels so good. New Balance, you nailed it, you nailed it. Okay, 
Today's topic is a little different. It's a little unique. And now is the perfect opportunity if you have a graphic designer, an artist, or just a creative person in your life that enjoys talking about design, now's the time to grab the link up above, text it out to them, te you know, tweet it to them, share it to them on Instagram, Facebook, however you wanna share this video because I would be fascinated to hear the thoughts from designers and graphic designers about running shoe logos, running shoe logos. I know this is kind of a off the beaten path type topic, but I've been wanting to talk about this for a while because at the, at the end of the day, the most important thing with running shoes is the functionality, functionality. However, I would also make the argument that from a business perspective in the 21st century, in order to reach generation, the millennials, generation X, generate whatever the next generation is below them. And frankly, everybody, how you present yourself to the public is really, really important. Whether it's in social media, on your website, print media, uh, commercials, YouTube ads, who knows, maybe you're getting advertisements from running shoe companies. In fact, if you are, let me know down in the comments. Like I'd be fascinated. I know I am, you know, who's advertising to me? Topo. T-O-P-O. -O. Yes, a very, you know, kind of niche running shoe brand that I've never run in, but I'm getting ads from them all the time now. T-O-P-O. -O. So, with that said, let's dive into a couple quick stories about running shoe logos. And I want to start with this book, and maybe you've read this book. If you have, let me know. It's called Bowerman and the Men of Oregon, and basically Bill Bowerman, and this is, okay, this is a little history lesson right now. Are you ready for this? Bill Bowerman and Phil Knight were co-founders for Nike, all right? And many of you already know that. They are based up in the Pacific Northwest, and basically Bill Bowerman was the track and cross-country coach at the University of Oregon, the Ducks. And basically, he decided in the, I don't know the exact dates, but I think it was the early 70s to develop a better running shoe. And there goes the uh, invention of, yes, Nike. So, but I want to read to you from this book. Okay, bear with me, bear with me. I think you're going to enjoy this. When those shoes eventually reached the U.S. market, they couldn't very well be called Nippin, Nippin Rubbers. They needed a name and they needed an eye-catching logo. The first time Jeff Johnson visited Oregon was for a spring 1971 meeting in which he, Knight, Waddell, and John Bork chose that logo from a stack of designs by a Portland State art student, Carol Carolyn Davidson. Davidson had been instructed to shoot for something that offered both support, such as Adidas's arch-gripping three stripes, and movement. It was impossible. Support is static, she said. Movement is movement. The, and the book goes on, I can't read it all. The book goes on and says, what's a Nike? Spell it. It's the winged goddess of victory, Greek mythology. It has every hallmark of a great hallmark. It's short, it's got a catchy consonant, a gathering pause, got anything, got anything else? No, no, this is it. Listen, Waddell, this is destiny, this is it. Waddell rolled into Knight's office, Phil Knight. There's a new one, Nike, what? Greek winged goddess of victory, Nike. Sounds like a Jeff deal to me, Knight said. What happened to Dimension 6? So that goes on. It's a fascinating book, and it talks about the founding of Nike. I would highly recommend it. Very well written by Kenny Moore, who also ran, he ran in the, uh, the Olympics in the marathon. All right, and now that was Nike in the late 1960s, 1970s. This is another shoe company that you may not even know has such an incredible history. And as consumers of running shoes, I think it's really, really important and fascinating to know the backstory to the shoes that we're running in. All right, so here we go. Founded just two years after the first Olympic marathon and one year after the first Boston marathon, they, they go on to say, we've got running in our blood. It was 1898. Four young businessmen opened the shoe manufacturing company in Pennsylvania. And here we go. By 1910, they were turning out 800 pairs of shoes a day from their two-story brick factory on the banks of the Saucony Creek. The banks of the Saucony Creek, which Saucony is a Native American word. Uh, let's see. I don't know if it actually says what it means. We, I don't think I, it says. Oh, yeah. Here we go. The word Saucony comes from the Lenny, Lenny, Lenape, <laughs> Lenny, Lenape Native American word Sakonk 
Sakonk, meaning where two rivers run together. And then it goes on to this. In their logo, and this is where it gets exciting, the Saucony logo is inspired by the original location of the shoe factory located on the Saucony Creek. Our logo represents a running river marked by three boulders. And so that's what those three dots are in the middle of that, that wave that you see on the Saucony logo. Isn't that, I just love that history behind their logo. I think it's very creative. And now Saucony's based in Boston, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. I frankly did not know that story until the vlog fan sent me those shoes you saw earlier today, the fast twitch Saucony uh, racing flat basically. And I did some research and I figured it out. Like that's their story and their story is so cool and it's important to know I think as a consumer the story behind our brands that we support and yes every company has a unique look La Sportiva very distinct look they are based in Italy uh, of course we've talked about Adidas in the past this is the Ultra Boost and uh, you know they've got this Adidas's story is fascinating as well you should look them up but they've got the three stripes for their logo uh, Asics has the A ASICS has the A there, and just, I, I don't know, it's an interesting A. I don't know if it's my favorite logo, but um, okay. And then you got Hoka, a newer company. They go with this, uh, I think it's a bird. I don't know, it looks like a bird through the O of the Hoka. So that's the Hoka logo. And then Solomon is kind of a traditional S. Uh, you see their S there with a box around it. So that's the, that's the Solomon logo. New Balance goes with, the, you know, that straight N. Sometimes they combine it, the N and the B together because of New Balance. Uh, On, I think On has a really fascinating logo, the O and the N. And their whole kind of uh, uh, genre of branding and marketing is based on the cloud. And so I think their logo does a pretty good idea of working with that theme of, of, of clouds. Uh, what else do we have? And then, you, and then you've got some newer companies, like one that I, I think I kind of like, the Ultra logo. It's got a nice look to it for Ultra. Um, one logo that I think we all probably have uh, questioned is Skechers. I think Skechers could really up their game when it comes to their logo. And I bet that is a big reason they're branding as to why perhaps their running shoes have not done as well in the running shoe market like they don't really look like running shoes and that's okay but I'm telling you the aesthetics of your colorways and your logo is just so critical for bringing people to your shoes when they're looking at all of these shoes in the running shoe stores it's like it can be really overwhelming and if you don't jump out at people there's a chance someone might not grab the shoe off the shelf to look at and to try on and yes, the key word, you know what it is, it's logo and the question of the day. And I realize this is unique and a little different type of question of the day. But yes, what is your favorite running shoe logo? Now you have to set aside performance from logo, okay? You don't, don't answer it based on your favorite running shoe. Uh, as far as the performance and functionality of the shoe, but rather on specifically the logo design, all right? All right, and thank you for hitting that question of the day. I realize it's it's kind of unique, and I'm just excited to read your comments and see like what running shoe logo really jumps out at you. Again, setting aside functionality and your favorite running shoes, just go off of pure like aesthetic appeal and I'll do my best to list as many running shoe companies as possible in this video to refresh your memory and also down below in the description so you can just remember like oh yeah there's Puma and there's uh, there's Salming and there's uh, Topo and there's all these uh, kind of more obscure running shoe companies that we may not remember so you're amazing that is today's vlog I'm off to the party and to meet meet the uh, the mailman that you saw earlier today Day. Oh, what a great day. Here we go. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.